Understanding your body's alarm system is, honestly, pretty fascinating. Have you ever wondered what is really happening inside your body when you feel pain, swelling, or redness? This is often the work of inflammation. Think of it, if you will, as your body's dedicated emergency response team. When you twist your ankle or catch a cold, your immune system rushes to the scene. It sends out special cells and chemicals to fight off invaders like bacteria or viruses, and to begin the healing process. This short-term or acute inflammation is not just helpful, it is absolutely essential for your survival. Without it, even a small cut could become a serious problem. It's a sign that your body is working exactly as it should, protecting you and repairing damage. But what happens when this emergency response doesn't switch off? This is where we run into problems. Sometimes the alarm system gets stuck in the on position, leading to something called chronic inflammation. Unlike the helpful short-term response, this is a low-grade simmering state of alert that can last for months or even years. Your body continues to send out inflammatory signals, even when there is no immediate danger. This constant state of alert can be incredibly taxing on your system. It's like having a fire alarm blaring in your house day and night. Eventually, it starts to cause its own damage and disruption to your daily life. This persistent low-level inflammation is not your friend. It can quietly damage your tissues and organs over time, and scientists now link it to a wide range of modern health issues. Conditions like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, arthritis, and even certain autoimmune disorders often have chronic inflammation as a key underlying factor. It can make old injuries ache, contribute to brain fog, and leave you feeling tired and unwell without a clear reason. The challenge is that chronic inflammation can be subtle. You might not see obvious signs like swelling or redness, but your body is still fighting a battle internally. And it's a battle that can have serious long-term consequences for your health. Understanding the difference between good and bad inflammation is the first step towards taking back control of your health. The acute inflammation that heals a sprained wrist is a brilliant and necessary process. The chronic inflammation that is quietly driven by modern lifestyle factors is something we need to address. The good news is that you have more power than you might think to influence this process. By understanding what triggers this harmful long-term inflammation, you can begin to make simple effective changes that help to calm your system down and support your body's natural state of balance and well-being.